Hey, hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Tylord, and I am back again with more Let's Play World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade. This is episode 30, and we are back here in southern Stranglethorn Vale. I'm just off of the southern Savage Coast. I'll show you guys exactly where I am, just outside of Booty Bay. We want to come to this little blood sail uh, enclave, or I guess little encampment. I don't know, I don't know what you really want to call it, but it's a, it's a little blood scale camp. And we have this quest called the Bloodscale Buccaneers, and so we actually need to come over here to the um, this this map or this piece of this scroll, I guess you would call it. It's called the Bloodsail Correspondence, um, and we need to go turn in the quest there, and then we pick up the follow up from there. Uh, there's there's going to be there's usually a couple, uh, I guess I, there's just one rare NPC, Pretty Boy Duncan, and normally I thought he dropped an item that starts a quest but that might not be the case um so i'm gonna do my little thing where, where i cast mind control on uh on one of the mobs take them out before i go in and start attacking the rest of the mobs so we are level 40 we left we left off last episode where did I leave off last episode? Somewhere in Stranglethorn Vale, right? No, no, no. I was in the Arathi Highlands. It's only been a couple days, but I already forgot where I was and what I was doing. I was I was leveling and questing in the Arathi Highlands. I got two levels, so we are 40. As you can see right here, I have Shadow Form on, and it's it's you know it's working out rather rather nicely for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go for another mind control right here if I can range this mob and. After that, I, I think I'll three v one the rest of these, the rest of these blood cell mobs because a three v one is a lot easier to do than a four v one. Although I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I could probably do four v one. You know, that's not too, that's not too bad. Um, but we'll go for the three v one. We have all of our health. Uh, we have all of our mana. It's actually only gonna be a two v one. I should probably go ahead and put. Shadow or paint on this second raider, um, because I guess I was I ranged Pretty Boy Duncan. That worked out nicely for me. I would say so. Uh, so let's go ahead and get my bear to touch on this guy. Now, one thing I need to get, which I don't have at the moment, and one thing that I need to start doing more now that I got Shadow Form, that I, I wasn't doing a lot beforehand before I got Shadow Form was actually use Vampiric Embrace. I wasn't using this this spell all that often. Um, and I'll tell you why. Oh, it has a little cooldown. I can't. He resisted the pain. So sh vampiric embrace is one of the only ways you can actually heal yourself while in shadow form, other than you know like eating food or using bandages, which I actually need to level first aid because I don't have any bandages. My I don't have first aid at all on this character, um, so I, I definitely need to do that. All right, let's turn this quest in the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Inside the skiff, you discover a map with some hastily written text on it, along with some coins. The, the map shows Booty Bay with a red X drawn precisely at the spot at which you are standing. The scribble text reads, You men are to secure a camp at this location and keep quiet. Wait for the single from the southern command post before attacking anyone. Before attacking. If anyone approaches, kill them. So we need to report our findings back to First Mate Kraz. Is that what his name was? First Mate Kraz. So let's go do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I was saying before was, before I got shut of word, before I got shadow form i didn't really need to use vampiric embrace because you can just heal yourself you know you have renew i use flash heal a lot i actually just got greater heal at, rank, at level 40 rank one greater heal but now that i'm in shadow form i don't want to keep you know stance dancing as you <laughs> as druids would call it or no that's warriors would call it um druids would call it like shapeshift dancing um but now that i don't want to keep going in and out of shadow form i'm going to start using vampiric embrace more and eventually I will have to spec into improved Vampiric Embrace because an extra 10% um, healing from, from whenever we deal shadow damage is, is pretty good. It's <laughs> extra 10% healing, uh, just straight up. So let's turn this quest in. Sure, I remember you, Priest. Back from scouting, I see. Shiver me timbers. Okay, I'm not going to read any more of that. Come on, dude, you can't see shiver me timbers. So let's report the plan. Bloodsail attack to Fleet Master Seahorn. And with that, we will turn this in, and we'll have a few more quests to do this episode. I'm not sure if I want to do all the blood cell quests. I could. I could just run out there and do them right now. 
But I think my next stop is probably going to be Raptor Mastery. Go kill Tethys, who I believe is a level 43 mob. Non-elite, used to be elite, but like I was saying last episode, most of the elite mobs in TBC um, were nerfed down and made non-elite. So he gives us the follow-up, the Blood Cell Buccaneers. He wants us to kill a bunch of Blood Cell mobs. And I'm not sure if anyone else in this tavern gives us any... Any 15 shares of snuff? Actually, up to snuff. Yeah, we do want that one. Uh, Whiskey Slim and Crank Fizzle Bob. I won't pick up any quests from them. But Drizzy One Eye. So once you once you turn in the initial Blood Sail Buccaneers quests and you get this follow up, um, up to snuff goes with it. There's like three or four quests that kind of pair with each other. Drizzy One Eye is the other one, um, which is this is a really nice cape for you know any melee or ranged attackers. Not not too good for spellcasters. We we, we want to stick with intellect, but I don't have any intellect gear, so I'm gonna cut away. I'm gonna head out uh, and find Tethys. He's just behind the Gurubashi Arena, so I'll meet you guys over there where we can do the last Raptor Mastery quest, and then once we turn that in, we can attempt to do Big Game Hunter. Uh, this episode, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I will certainly attempt it. So I will be right back. Alrighty, here is the elusive Tethys. I'm gonna start with a Shadow Word Pain so I can get Vampiric Touch on him. And he resisted. Would you look at that? Also resisted my Mind Blast. So apparently, uh, this this little Raptor boy, this little Rapty, does not like Shadow Damage because he's resisted all my Shadow spells. Uh, he is level 43, no longer an Elite mob. All of the all of the mastery mobs, Panther, Tiger, and Raptor mastery mobs used to be elites in, in Vanilla WoW, and I believe they're elites in Classic WoW, but in TBC they were nerfed and made not elites, so these, uh, the, the mastery quest chain got that much easier. King Bangalash, however, still is an elite. Uh, one of the few NPCs in TBC to be made, uh, to, to not be made non-elite. As, however confusing as that sounded. So this quest is complete. I'm going, cut, I'm going to cut away again. Before I head back to the hunter's camp with him at Nessingware Jr., I'm going to head somewhere. Uh, it's going to be a little secret. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going, uh, but we're going to head to another little questing spot uh, where I have a couple quests to do there before we head back towards the Grom Gaul area. So I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm over here on the Naga Island, and we are doing the two quests that I have, Mokthardin's Enchantment, and the other is Akiris by the Bundle. So the first quest, Mokthardin's Enchantment, we need to kill 10 of these Naga Explorers, and also collect the Holy Spring Water, which I will show you uh, in just a little bit where you can find that. The other quest, Akiris by the Bundle, uh, as the name of the quest suggests, we need to collect uh, 10 bunches of this Akiris Reed. Now the Akiris Reed is not a 100% drop rate, so, you know, you might have been done with Mokthardin's enchantment, you might have killed your all your Naga, your 10 Naga, but you don't have 10 stacks of a Curious Reed, so you're going to have to be killing a few more mobs um, past 10 that you need for Mokthardin's enchantment. And uh, this might be not a great place for me to be at the moment, just because it is orange, both of, the, both of these quests are orange, uh, meaning um, these mobs are a bit higher in level than I am. They're all about 43, 44, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge for sure. Um, but I think it's it's definitely a good quest to do right now um, because I'm over here. I'm already over here. I'm already in this area. Uh, so I'm going to be killing these mobs for a little while. I'm going to fight my way up towards where we need to go for the Holy Spring Water. So I will cut away and I'll show you guys uh, exactly where you need to go to to loot the Holy Spring Water so we can be done with this quest. Uh, I will be right back. Alrighty, up here at the top of the island, you will find the Nekmani Wellspring, where we need to come to loot the Holy Spring Water, uh, pouring out of this fountain on the other side of this bridge. But you will see here, standing in front of me, standing in between me and the fountain, is Lord Sacrasis, a rare mob, level 44. Not elite, so I do believe I have a pretty good chance of taking him down. I'm going to go for... Oh, got the double resist right there. Already off to a very poor start. I wanted to... Oh my god, resisting all my spells! Oh god! <laughs> this is not good. Not good. Okay. Oh, nope. I tried to go for the Vampiric Embrace, and we got the resist. Uh, so we're just gonna keep Power Work Shield up and try our hardest. I'm gonna just sit here and wand this guy to death. I don't know what else I can do. I'm gonna wand him, and then occasionally... I'm gonna have to heal myself however much damage he hits for I mean, whenever my HP drops a little low You know what I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the wand 
I'm gonna go for a flash heal. Pop another Shadow Word form, Shadow Word Paint on this guy. Go for a Mind Blast, maybe. Wait for the Power Word Shield. Oh god! Somebody help! Alright, there we go, we got him. Easy, boys, easy. What I say? Easy. Please give me a good item. Lord Sacrus's Scepter? Holy shit! Plus six int, plus eight spirit held in offhand. That's pretty good. Uh, that's like, wow, that's crazy. That is an actual item that belongs to that mob and only that mob. It is definitely a rare item. So we come over here to the Holy Spring and collect some of the water. What does this say? Ble use blessing from the Holy Spring of Stranglethorn Vale. Well, goddamn, what happens when you use it? Did something happen? I don't know what just happened. Did something happen? What happened? <laughs> it healed me for 300 health. Oh, interesting. So you can go ahead and use this for a little heal if you need, um, but otherwise you're gonna have to reloot it after you do that. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, wow, interesting. So we uh, we got Lord Sacrisis. I still need one more Nagi Explorer to kill for Mokthardin's enchantment. And I also need five more stacks of the Akiris bundle. So, oh, we got a little, we got a little combat got a little pathing bug going on um i am out of mana would you look at that so i'm gonna cut away now i'll meet you guys back uh i think like in gromgall and then we'll head over to him at nesting where camp so be right back all righty everybody back here in booty bay let's go ahead and talk to privateer bloods and give him the 10 stacks of akiris reed for the quest akiris by the bundle and he will give us 60 silver that's a lot of silver and the scorching sash which is a pretty nice um, waist piece, a pretty nice belt for any, I, I would say, destruction warlocks or possibly fire uh, mages or maybe even, you know, an occasional elemental shaman. But for a priest, a shadow priest, uh, this <laughs> this piece of armor is not good for us. So I'm going to cut away again. I'll meet you down in Grom Gaul where we can turn in Mach Thardin's enchantment and then from there we will head over to him and Essingware Jr.'s Hunter's Camp. Alrighty, let's go ahead and talk to Farseer Mokthardian, turning the quest Mokthardian's enchantment. We will give him the Holy Spring Water, and he will make for us the Choker of the High Shaman. Wear this with pride, Ty Lord, in the name of the War Chief, and in defense of the Mighty Horde. I will do just that, thank you very much. This is actually quite the upgrade over what I have. Uh, plus one in, and plus eight spirit in exchange for four strength. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. So I'm going to cut away again, and I'll meet you guys over at the Hunter's Camp. Uh, with uh, Hemet Nessingware Jr. Alrighty, let's go ahead and talk with Hemet Nessingware Jr. and turn in the, I think, fourth and final Raptor Mastery Quest. It's the final Raptor Ma Mastery Quest. I know that. I can't remember if it's the third or fourth in the chain. I want to say it's number four, but here is the Talent of Tethys Master Time Lord. The Raptor Slayer has a nice ring to it, eh? It does indeed. Now, he gives us this Raptor Hunter tunic, which is a pretty nice chess piece for, like, rogues, druids, hunters, but uh, as a priest, I cannot wear leather, so it is useless to us. Let's go ahead and pick up the final quest here at Nessing Nessingware's Expedition, uh, the Hunter's Camp. Big game hunter. He wants us to kill King Bangalash and br bring him the head of the Great White Tiger, and in, in exchange, we get a ranged weapon that we will sell back for a whole gold... That's pretty, pretty poggers. Uh, now, it does say that Big Game Hunter is orange and is a group quest, meaning that King Banglash himself is an elite mob. So I'm going to cut away. I'm going to head over and uh, pick another little questing spot. I'm not quite sure where, where I want to go just yet, but wherever I end up, we will go quest. So be right back. Alrighty, so I am down here just south of Booty Bay. I can show you guys exactly where I am on my map. Um, but I'm coming here to do all of the blood cell quests that I talked about before and already holy shit These fucking warlocks don't fuck around man, and their pets don't despawn. Oh, no, this is a quality server What have I done? This fucking succubus minion is going ham on me. Holy shit, man. What the hell? Fucking lash of pain doing a million damage Please stop. Okay. She despawned there. You just have to you just have to wait it out. A lot of times, whenever you kill like a warlock or, or some type of mob that has a pet, if you kill that, if you kill the mob first, like if you go for the warlock or you go to the, for the hunter first, uh, then eventually the pet should despawn. So, um, one part of the quest that we have for the Bloodsail Buccaneers is to collect the Bloodsail charts, and the, another is to collect the Bloodsail or, orders. Bloodsail orders. Uh, so, the charts and the orders have uh, different spawn locations. 
Um, but actually, <laughs> they're both right here in this first camp. Would you look at that? Easy peasy. Um, so there's three quests that I have to do in this area, and I'm probably going to be doing most of them off screen. So the first, again, being Bloodsail Buccaneers. We already got the charts and the orders. We just need to kill 10 of these swashbucklers that you'll find littered throughout all the camps. Another is Up to Snuff, which we need to collect 15, um, 15 stacks of snuff, which should drop off of every blood cell mob in the area so you don't have to really worry about like oh which mobs do i have to kill specifically um, and these swashbucklers have a disarm ability they also have an ability that interrupts spell casting and locks you out of whatever school of magic you're trying to cast so for me as a shadow form as a shadow priest locks me out of shadow spells that's not great um, yeah, anyway, the third and final quest we have is keep an eye out Dizzy's Eye. Um, so we need to loot Dizzy's Eye, and Dizzy's Eye will drop off of any Blood Cell, blood cell Buccaneer mob over here. Any Blood Cell mob. Any pirate. But if we come over here... Oh, I guess not. Okay, so this is another spawn location for either the Charts or the Orders right here in this little boat. I thought for a second that um, there was an item that started a quest... But I guess not. So I'm going to be here in this area uh, killing mobs for the foreseeable future. I'm probably going to cut away. Um, there is Cowardly Crosby over there. Um, is a friendly mob to even to non-blood cells, uh, non-blood cell buccaneers. Um, so just if you wanted tailoring supplies, you can talk to him. But yeah, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to finish up all these quests, and I'll meet you uh, back in Booty Bay where we can turn them in. And that's where I will probably end off this episode. Uh, hopefully we get to level 41. I'm trying to aim for uh, like one episode every level for the most part. So be right back. Alrighty, back here at Booty Bay in the Salty Sailor Tavern. Let's go and talk to Deke and turn in the quest up to Snuff. So we have the 15 stacks of Snuff for him. And we can turn that in. And we have one more quest to turn in to Fleet Master Seahorn and we should hit level 41 the Blood Cell Buccaneers let's give him the charts and the orders and we killed the 10 swashbucklers perfect Tyler now that we know their plan it's just a matter of time so there it is we have the follow-up as well uh, this is the last quest in the Blood Cell Buccaneers quest chain uh, but we did hit 41 so there we go let's go ahead and put our talent point into shadow power increasing the critical strike chance of our mind blast and shadow or death spell which is interesting because we don't get shadow or death until I want to say like 68 something really high really high level but we're level 41 i did not however get to finish the quest keep an eye out i was killing i was it wasn't for a lack of trying i killed probably about 50 to 60 mobs um and that's how i got all the way up to uh like 90 percent of the way up to level 41 before i just decided to say fuck it let's go turn in these last few quests that i have in and uh i'll try and keep doing keep an eye out uh, keep an eye out uh for dizzy uh, off screen but that's gonna do it for this episode so thank you for watching everybody we hit 41 i'm trying to do uh one at one level per episode and so far i've been able to do that um we did do uh raptor master in its entirety uh and i think next episode i'm going to do big game hunter we're going to try and solo king bangalash so that'll be next episode so that's going to do it folks thank you so much for watching i love you i appreciate you and until next time as always i hope you all stay classy and peace out